Okay, here I go. I've got a 2008 uh, Ninja. <laughs> Little Ninja, my daughter's bike. What's happening is she's got a height challenge, so I'm going to put this lowering link kit on. And I was thinking, well, how am I going to lift this doggone thing up? Because as you can see, the underneath, you don't have nowhere to put a jack. And I was thinking, so I says, hey, why don't I just lay it down? And that way, it will, I have better control of the suspension and everything. So let's see how this works out. I'm going to loosen up the nuts over there and see if I can do it this way. I don't see anything on the internet about this bike. Uh, this is a 250 model, but they haven't all changed much anyway. So let's Basically, go. All you're going to need is a 19 and a 17. On the bottoms is the 17s, and the tops is 19s. Once you've got it, got both of the nuts off, just pull them out, put your new dog bones in, and go from there. See, the dog bones kind of look like this. I got them online on eBay for about 30 bucks. You can probably get a better deal. As you can see, this is going to be a little bit lower than what it is right now. And if I have to drop it even lower, then I'll do it. But... See, by doing this this way, you have better control of of the suspension and, and really not having to work too hard. But what you want to really remember is by decreasing the distance here, you're gonna you might run into problems with it really bottoming out hard. So you, if you're a heavy guy, you want to kind of take it easy. If not, you're gonna get you're gonna get a surprise, brother. I'm telling you, this thing is gonna gonna wake you up. All right, aloha, malama pono. Yeah, it's it's not that difficult. Um, right now, just because I'm I'm only five minutes yeah, into the. I've got deal. now is to torque this guy down. I'm gonna torque it down to 65. You can torque it down to whatever you want, but I'm gonna take it to 65, and that should be good. Aloha. There we go. The lowering has been completed. Everything is torqued down. Make sure you don't lose the dust and grease seals that go in between. There's anyway, there's bearings in there and there's seals in there. Make sure you work in an area where you don't lose it. I'm using this area because I'm laying the bike down on grass, obviously, so that I don't damage the finish of the bike. This is a fairly easy job. I was overthinking this job. And I had the bright idea of using grass. Going back to nature. Hello. It's another little helpful hint. Uh, you might want to bag and tag your old stock links just in case one day you do intend to get rid of your pretty little ninja or whatever kind of bike you're thinking of lowering or modifying you might want to keep your stock parts all right this pretty little ninja there's another problem with this one in the fuel tank i'll have a video on that one as well the fuel gauge doesn't work all right